How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Boss is back, and today we're creating Raiden in Soul Calibur 6. Now, um, this is uh, Raiden from Metal Gear Solid games, or Metal Gear Rising, since that was like one of his Cyborg Ninja stories that were really awesome. Um, this is my design on him, uh, because there's nothing really robotic, you know, like in in Soul Calibur, so we went with this outfit. Now I know I could cover those eyes or something, but I kind of kind of lost space. That's what that's what happened with the uh, special equipment. We used it all on mainly the face. So as you can see there, we have a heart for the jaw, and then we have um, the halo ring for the uh, eye bandage over his eye but uh yeah we're gonna talk about just basically creating him and how i got him to look the way he did so let's uh using mr uh weapon am i sure yes i'm sure so um this should change it so yeah we used a uh i'm sorry a, a manifested just because of the eyes the glowing eyes that i thought it really fit you know, the Jack the Ripper part, and I thought it would be really cool. Let's see, this should make him... Okay, he's back to... Back to... Oh, God, he's so scary looking. Jeez, that face. <laughs> Alright, so, um... When I was making him, I also decided to do the um, skinny build. There's the thin build, the average build, and then the thick set. Um, got to emphasize that thickness because he is pretty thick. Anyway, so we go with the thin build. Everything is already down. Um, I kind of, let's see, um, want to pick this up just a little bit, not too much. And then also, uh, let's see, we're make him very tough. And thighs? Well, he needs some thighs. All right, you can't forget the thighs. Give him a little little bit little bit of thighs. Not not too big, just, just decent enough. Let's give him a little calves too. Yeah, like that. Now, you guys can obviously make him any shape and form you want, but I think this is the best, like having him thin so everything kind of looks sleek. Um, I can't remember what face I was using, guys, but um, we're just going to stick with this face. Now, for the hair, I actually love the hair because it's like very close to um, the, the Raiden. I think I passed it, and I was like right on top of it, right here. This is actually like very, pretty close to his actual hair, which is amazing, and I freaking love it. Um, eyebrows. I can't remember. Let's just go with a very thin uh, voice. It doesn't really matter. I have him Japanese voice. I think it's better. Sounds better. All right. So now we're getting down to the equipment stuff. And um, obviously he's, you know, the hair's wrong. And uh, no, no clothes on him. Um, but I think the face actually looks fine. Uh, Raiden always had that kind of like more, you know, that face. <laughs> All right. Um, now this is... I, as far as I remember, this was very close to uh, Jetstream Sam's. And also, there's another thing I want to do, which is change his skin color like to just black. And there's a reason for that as well. But let me... Now, he's very close to uh, Sam, uh, Jetstream Sam when I created the video. So, the body is really going to be very much the same. I'm trying to remember what did I use for pants. I think I used, yeah, I used these. That's what I did right it's also i'm also playing a memory game to remember what the hell I was doing i don't think i use anything here now of course with this we use the sword demon arm guards again it just fits this kind of like more you know sleeker look that i was going for now for the shoulder pads i went for the uh pauldrons I felt like those look good, and you can also basically 
they, they blend in a little better, cover up the eyes in the front a, a tad bit. You, obviously, you know they're there. And then we actually went with Zaslamel's leg armor. Yeah, that. Thought that would just look a little better. I know he has claws on his feet, but unfortunately, can't get those. Unless we use, like, the Yoshi Mitsu pants. Which are these. Now, I like these, but the thing is... Well, it has its toes taken out. Right. Okay. I mean, I like them, but it just... I feel like it really... This really wouldn't fit them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's gonna be a no-go. <laughs> I mean, I really like it, though. It's really close. So basically, the outfit's gonna be pretty simplistic. Now, I am. There's another detail to the outfit that I add, which is the um, the moon mask. You're probably wondering, what the hell do you do with the moon mask to put it? You know, use it. Now we're gonna flip it all the way, do a uh, 180 on it. Should have just put this on the chest. I wonder if it's gonna reset if I put it on the chest. I didn't think that far. Whoops. All right. Boom. Okay, did not reset. Cool. I knew that. I do this. Okay, so we got it here. Move it up. Now I want to move it at an angle, but right now I am trying to. Okay. Basically what I want is I want to get the uh, spider webs to show. And you're probably wondering what the hell, what, what's the point of having the spider web show? Kind of weird. I just think it looks pretty cool. That's, that's what I mean. All right, I think I might have, let's see. Yeah, we were. Widen her up and made her longer. Down. All right. Let's see here. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Drop the thickness down. I basically just want it to be like something like that. It's it just looks a little different. You know what I mean? I think it looks pretty cool. It just adds another layer of texture. Kind of changes the armor just a little bit. Uh, overall, just I think it just looks all right. It, it's the Soul Calibur version of our homie Raiden. Okay, so Raiden, I meant Raiden. Raiden. Say Raiden because of Mortal Kombat guys. You, you should know already. All right, so this piece is gonna be a little fun to work with. Um, which you're gonna Bring it down. You're going to mess with the uh, verticality. Have the tip of the heart sticking out. And uh, let's see here. Bring it into his face. Now, as you see already, the shape is already kind of forming. Obviously, it's thick. <laughs> but um, you kind of want it to have that kind of design where it's like covering up to the bottom lip. And then on the sides, it goes up a little bit to his cheekbones. Now, obviously, this is too much, so we're going to cut it down a bit. I don't want his chin to show. I think I still got to move. Yeah, I still got to move this a little bit more vertical. And we're going to move it up some. I'll drop the length. Width. Definitely the width needs to go down. Now, obviously, when you drop the width, you want to make sure you keep it there with a the jaw. So let's go ahead and drop that thickness down. Now, this is... Looking all right, but it's still too thick. You see how it's starting to kind of make a jaw look? You want to you go with that. Let's see here. Keep messing around with it a little bit. You're going to keep messing around with it. Now, if the bottom lip shows a bit, don't worry. That's that's actually pretty fine as well. Drop it down a bit. Let's see here. Hmm. Something's missing. Something is totally missing. So yeah, you're usually gonna mess with it. Bring it down. Let's bring it down a little, a little bit. What about back? 
Okay, bring it back a bit, and then we are gonna... There we go, bring it forward. Okay, I'm liking how it looks. Let me uh, move it up a tad bit. Alright, it's looking alright. See what I can do here. Thickness. There we go. Alright. That's not perfect right now, but you're essentially going to be moving it around like that, trying to get it very close to his chin. And like even when you look at it from an angle, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks part of his, his, his chin. Alright, so now next we're going to do the halo. Or the pure ring, as they call it here. Which we're going to use that as the uh, bandage over his eye. And uh, let's bring it down. Go to uh, angle. gonna be around that area now obviously you want to make it not, not thicker there let's see is it length yeah length makes it wider you kind of want it a little wide as well you don't want it too too thin trying to get it just the right spot there we go and yeah you want to make sure it covers up the eye because uh it, it's gonna look weird if you don't now that's pretty much good right there. Uh, if if the armor breaks off, it's gonna it's not gonna show all that. All right, so we got basically the equipment done and ready. Now we're gonna go over to coloring it up. All right, so one of the big key features I want to do because of the this is where you guys are probably gonna say, all right, so but his eye looks really weird, you know, it has the black outlining and stuff like that. Now I'm pretty sure you can you can probably stick some. Um, I don't know, probably face paint on to kind of see, does that mask it all? Not really. Um, but anyways, we're not going to even worry about that. Um, I, how do I? Oh, yeah, remove. Bye bye. Okay. So, what we're going to do is this is going to be weird. Watch it. His skin color. Okay, skin color. Skin color, we're going to go all the way dark. Dark, dark, right? Now, one that works with the rest of his armor, especially like like in the arm area where you can see some of his skin exposed, or even his back, uh, it just makes it dark so you can't really tell. Um, and also, we're gonna go over to stickers on his face. We're gonna put a uh, what would be the best one? Let's go with a circle. See how the circle works here. Uh, you can do. Rotation projection, either or works. I'm just gonna do rotation. I'm more familiar. I work a lot better with it. Now uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring it down over to over to his top lip. You don't really wanna you don't really wanna care about the bottom lip because the bottom lip is gonna remain dark because uh, it's gonna match with his chin his chin strap. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> now obviously we're gonna go and try to get the best skin color skin tone color now with the sticker you might want to bring the uh, saturation all the way down to zero so you can get the closest to his skin color possible and you're going to want to bring it up a bit because he has like some pale skin so let's see and don't worry i know there's no texture on his face or anything like that but he's a, he's a cyborg man he's a cyborg don't forget it <laughs> so all right so there we go there's there's his face the skin's been uh, darkened up now, uh, another thing you want to work with is the eyes. The red is fine. The pink over here, not fine. You want to turn that white so it looks a little bit more uh, human, I guess. All right, so I hit the wrong button. I hit back. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, armor. His armor is almost all of it is going to just be straight up black. But you don't want, I, honestly, I don't like it being like just pure black because this is just way too dark. Looks. I guess it works, but not a fan of it. Not a fan of it at all. I'm a, a, we're gonna use it as a template though. And I forgot the hair, I, guys. I forgot the hair. Um, so with the hair, you're gonna go. You can go white, but I don't like this white because this feels doesn't feel like the right white. I go um, saturation down. I go around here, around like. All right, hold on a minute. The bluish. 
Yeah, around right around there. Kind of feels kind of feels right. Feels right. All right. So, anyways, for the armor, one of the biggest thing that's gonna be uh, gonna be up with this is trying to get it to look like armor and not just kind of like a plasticky. I don't know, just pure black. Like I said, you're gonna want to bring the color up a bit and um, so let's hit this with a little bit of gray, kind of make it pop because that's what I want. I want it to pop. Certain certain aspects of the armor can stay pure black. But some of the other stuff, like the chest armor, you kind of want it to pop. Look nice, you know. Um, I am going to be messing around with the... Um, I'm going to be messing around with some of the patterns. Because uh, patterns really do help. Uh, pants here, let's see, which one do I want? Let's let's go ahead and make you pop up a little bit more. Alright, not too much. Wow, that was a lot more than I expected. Uh, a little bit like that. I need to go back to the chest. The chest, this piece of the chest armor is always so dark. Always, always dark. It's hard to get it to kind of brighten up a bit. So let me kind of have that match a little bit here. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. The two different textures, you know, pants and then armor have different lighting. This, I made it, this part right here, these little things, I just went, went, went red. Just to make it match. Yeah, I just went with that red. Kind of matches. Um, there's an armor that actually resembles this in the game. Uh, in the Metal Gear Rising. Alright, so let's see. This can basically stay that color. There's no reason really to make the arms look any different. I mean, I, you can make the brain up a little bit, to, kind of to match the legs. Now remember, this is not a one-in-one -one copy of Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. This is just the Soul Calibur version of Raiden, alright? Um, okay, so here, this piece right here of the armor, of the uh, shoulder pads, you want to kind of match with the arms um, the best you can. Because you want to make it kind of like, look like an extension of the arms and then the shoulder pads themselves are going to have a pattern. And I'm going to give it the, uh, whoa, I think I passed it, yep. Basic 7, which is one that I used on um, yesterday's stream, I believe. You, the first one I like leaving it that color, the last one I turn it black, and then this one I turn it to a gray of my choosing, which is usually like the first or second. Let's go with a second, and then bring the pattern way, way down. So with this, it just adds a nice little layer of texture to the shoulder pads. See, if you look closer to it, it kind of has like carbon fiber kind of look to it, which I really enjoy. Um, I wish I could do that to more of the armors on this, but for some reason, the chest armor does not look as good like that. All right, so this is basically a riding man. Uh, I guess you can, let's see how the carbon fiber looks on the leg pieces. Probably won't show as often, I mean, especially with the scratches. Let's see what we can do. Oh man, they're playing the Witcher music right now, and I am bumping in my head. I don't want to start singing out loud. <laughs> Alright, this actually might work. Let's see. Give it that carbon fiber look. Alright, so let's go with what I did. Boop. Um, you know what? It, it works, but it still has those scratches, like I said. It doesn't look bad. You have to get like really zoomed in there to see it, but it's pretty cool for pictures and stuff like that. All right, so this is gonna be this is gonna be our writing, guys. Um, let's see. Hold on a minute. Let's let me see real quick. Let's let's kind of work a little bit with the. Uh, I'm sorry, we're not done yet. Let's work with the jaw a little bit because you kind of don't want it to be pure black. Um, I was I usually go with this uh, the carbon fiber look again. But I try not to be as dark because of the neck. The neck of the lip kind of make it look kind of weird. So um, let's work with it here. Let's do a gray, and then this is going to be like a dark red. We're obviously going to bring this down size-wise. Oh, man, that Witcher music. All right, so it kind of matches. It's a little darker, but it still kind of matches the, um, the neck color. 
and I think it works. I think it works. It has that carbon fiber look to it as well. Because he is a robot. A cyborg. Okay, I'm sorry. Cyborg. <laughs> um, and then for the weapon, I mean, you can literally keep the same one that is there, or you can switch it up. You're going to... I mean, you guys really need to know. I mean, turn just turn everything else black. And yeah. There's the homie Raiden. Raiden. Sorry, guys. I keep saying Raiden. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Let's go into mock battle. Let's go. Let's go see. See how he looks. Now I'm using a PS4 remote right now, and not my fight stick. So my button layout is gonna be messed up because of the fight stick. But I can work with it. Um. Okay. All right. So uh, let's grab. Up. Oh, got it. All right. And uh, he just really looks. He looks really cool in battle. Um. I think I left him. Did I leave him too tall? No, I think he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, I'm just being a little weird. Yep. Let's go ahead. I am. I don't know. I think he really looks badass. Let's go ahead and get rid of the um display stuff. I want to see that again, but this time with no display. Makes it more cinematic. Yeah, that looks really badass. And the glowing red eye really does wonders to him, man. It just looks so good. Man, I can't. Right. There we go. It's because different button layout. But yeah. Guys, let me know what you think of this Raiden. Um, did you guys enjoy him? Do you guys think he looks pretty close to a Soul Calibur Raiden? Um, he's not as good as my Jetstream Sam. I, I, I'm telling you guys, my Jetstream Sam is so, so good looking. But this is the closest I can get for Raiden. And I think I like it. I really do like it. Um, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe because I will be doing more tutorial videos like this because I know you, a lot of people like stuff like this and I will continue doing it. But I'll also be playing other video games. I'll be streaming them. Um, I got a lot of games I'm playing, especially Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur right now is my main one. I love this game. So good. But alrighty, enough babbling, Ron. I'm going to head out now. Thank you guys. But as always, peace.